ever again. The long corner route, Nets picked off. He went one too many times to the Pro Bowler side. That's Charles Woodson with a pick. He had Shockey, it looked like, open underneath. He just, he just tried to put one in to Steve Smith. And when you do that, like Ron said, too many times against a guy like you Charles. Go to the empty, try to define the coverage. He knows it's man now. Picked up. Woodson second of the day. As good as he can be. Let me go back and talk about what I say empty. Empty means there's no backs in the backfield. You see they motion D'Angelo Williams out of the backfield. And then E.J. Hawk, A.J. Hawk goes out and covers him. So Cam Newton knows now that it's man-to-man -man coverage. Unfortunately, he makes a poor decision there. Young quarterbacks need to learn how to get themselves out of a play that isn't there. And the way you do that is you throw it out of bounds or you use your legs to take off and you live to play the next down. Cutler on third and 11 in trouble again. Trying to find somebody open and throws an interception. And it's Charles Woodson's 55th of his career. I saw that. I saw that coming the whole way. If Bennett works back to the football, it's a completion instead of an interception. 13 to three, Green Bay. The Lions go without a huddle. First down, second down of the 40. Second and one. Kitten waiting. Throws the right there. there it is. Intercepted. Puts him down below the sidelines. He's going to the house. Raises the football in the air with his right hand. And it's a touchdown. Charles Woodson, 42 yards. They give you so many different looks, and they do a great job disguising coverage. Palmer, pick six, Charles Woodson, interception untouched. Touchdown, Packers. Charles Woodson is the guy you have to really track in the nickel coverages. He lines up inside on the slot, and we talk about disguising intentions. You see Carson Palmer, he never feels Charles Woodson right there in the flat coverage. And that's a, mit, a mismatch, Charles Woodson on the tight end, Daniel Cope. That's Bennett at the bottom of the screen. And down the middle, it's Williams. Roy Williams drops it. And now the fight for the football. Green Bay has the football. And that's the rookie Clay Matthews down at the bottom of the pile. Beautiful throw, the catch. Woodson knocked it out. And then Matthews had a clean opportunity at picking up that loose ball. And I guess eventually won the tug of war at the bottom of the pile. Well, it's great execution there by Dallas. They got what they wanted in the one on one matchup. They get Roy Williams up against Nick Collins, a safety. And Roy Williams goes right by him. He just fails to hang on to the ball. You see Tony Romo come in after the fact. It looked like Dallas was able to recover it. And here's the snap that Greasy will throw on third down and three. Looks, looks, stuffs it up. It is intercepted at the 45. Greasy giving chase. He will not catch it. It's Charles Woodson, and Green Bay will take the lead. Third turnover by the Bucks in this half. And Green Bay has tied it at 20 all. And a point after will give the Packers a one point lead. Well, that was a great play by Woodson. It was just a, a simple out route by Warwick Dunn. Creasy just threw it on his back shoulder rather than his front shoulder, and, and the, both of them had simu simultaneous possession there for a second. Woodson able to take it and, and pull away from uh, anybody chasing. Side having force 37. That will be a huge matchup in next week's game. For Trump, I line it. The pass intercepted by Charles Woodson. His ninth of the season. He's got a big return on down the sideline. He's in! Touchdown! Charles Woodson has had a tremendous season. Oh, look at that sign. That's great. His third return for a touchdown. Woodson out to the right of your screen. He's just going to beat Fitzgerald to the football. 
Fitzgerald had a slant going. Charles got right in front of it, reading the eyes of the quarterback, Matt Leinart. That's his third touchdown of the season for Charles Woodson after an interception. Austin has been held without a catch. Jason Witten made the first catch of the day for Dallas. Nothing since. Romo is sacked. Ball comes out. Felix Jones could not pull it in. And now it's Clay Matthews with the football in his hands. Out of bounds at the three. Woodson knocked it away. Side Charles Woodson off the slot. Couldn't tell if Romo expected to have protection, but here it is right here. And he would not because they bring an extra defender and there was no back to that side to give him help and Romo just doesn't see it. And Charles Woodson, I tell you, he he's a heck of a cover guy. He's very good with the blitz. He's great in run support. He's been a Great addition to this Packer team since he got here three and a half years ago. A great play there by him. That is the fifth time Tony Romo's been sacked today. Woodson gets him. Then Felix Jones had a chance at the recovery. Had it for a moment. Looks coming to pick it up. And is that an interception? It is by Woodson. He's inside the 40, the 30. Woodson, touchdown. Payback. Payback's tough. Same kind of play. You know. Third all time. Career interception return for a touchdown behind Rod Woodson and Darren Sharper. Watch Woodson here with a little curl route again at the top. Woodson's all over it. Same amount of contact. Looked like Calvin Johnson rolled into the route more to the inside than Sean Hill was expecting. He was kind of throwing it at the top of the route. Woodson kind of fell into that one and took advantage of it.